Hi there, it's Barbara Rax again. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to find the right board for your skills and experience and interests. In our first session, we had a broad overview about the importance of women serving on boards. In our second session, we had a great panel that told you about the different types of boards and what service on those boards meant, nonprofit, local, city and county, as well as the state boards and commissions. And today we're gonna to be turning to our own Emily Bowerman, who has been managing boards and commission databases for us for many years. And she's gonna to talk to you about how to research and select a board that meets your interest and your background and experience, uh, how, and then how to make an effective application to that board uh, and do the follow-up to make sure that you have the best shot at getting to serve on that board. And before we do, I'm gonna ask Kim Wilkerson to make just a few more of her great remarks. Kim has served as our sponsor from Bank of America for this whole series, and she has tremendous observations to offer. The one thing I will tell you about women that we need to work on, and that is all of us um, approach things with a, less of a lack of confidence than men do. Now, what do I mean by that? So if there is a job description and if a man can do 40% of what's in a job description, they're going to apply for that job. For a female to apply for that job, they feel like they've got to have 80% of what is in that job description. So we diminish our capability for growth oftentimes by our own preconceived notions of what's really needed for that next role. So take risk, step out of the box, have great mentors and people who you can talk to that will help you move past some of those areas of lack of self-confidence. You need to have a step um, a stiff spine. You need to be willing to speak out for what's right. You need to have, be a thoughtful leader.